Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm Greg and we're going to build this 30cc internal combustion four-stroke engine. And when I say we, I mean you and I. I'm going to provide all the instructions, plans, and procedures for you to build one too. So let's get started. The Wallaby is a 30cc twin cylinder internal combustion four-stroke engine originally designed by Edgar Westbury over 60 years ago. The original kit used castings, but our version has been redesigned to be made entirely from bar stock in the home machine shop. It has been modernized with ball bearings throughout, an engine-driven water pump for cooling, and an engine-driven oil pump for forced lubrication. In this video series, I will be emphasizing the use of the home CNC router in addition to the mill and lathe. CNC machining has been around for decades, but can now be had very inexpensively and used in the home workshop to ease the manufacturability and improve the appearance of our machined components. Can you build this engine without a CNC router? Absolutely. I've developed two sets of plans for some of the more complex parts, one intended for CNC fabrication and a simpler but functionally equivalent part for fab on manual machine tools. Depending on your level of expertise, you can even extrapolate and include some of the CNC routed features manually, if you so wish. We will be using Fusion 360 for our CAM, Computer Aided Manufacturing Tool. This is available free of charge for a number of years for the home hobbyist. The Wallaby is an intermediate level project, so I assume you have some previous machining experience. This may include building a steam engine kit, or perhaps a single cylinder engine of some sort. You should be able to face a block of aluminum to proper size and hit dimensions reliably on the mill. Know how to face and turn a workpiece on the lathe. There are many wonderful videos on how to develop these skills and if you are still a beginner or a little rusty, I encourage you to watch a few and practice. So what are the recommended tools for this project? A mill and a lathe and their associated tooling are essential. A CNC router and 3D printer are recommended and will be used here. I have DRO's digital readouts on both my mill and lathe. The computer is also going to be a critical tool and will be used to create the files needed for the 3D printer and the CNC router. Why do I use the term CNC router instead of CNC machine? It is semantics really, but I consider a CNC machine primarily designed for heavy machining of metal whereas a CNC router is intended for wood and light aluminum machining, which is all we are really going to need. I use SolidWorks for my 3D CAD modeling, but will not be required by you to build this engine. I provide hard copy PDF plans and 3D models in STL and IGIS format to be used with the CAM tools. I recommend you follow along and use Fusion 360 for the generation of the toolpaths for the CNC. All of the plans and files will be available on my website or Patreon. What is our approach going to be? How are we going to tackle this project? The traditional way to start an engine project is to build the crankcase, then fabricate the crankshaft and other parts, adding them until it's able to run. We will get to the crankcase as soon as we can, but we will first fabricate some of the simpler parts to demonstrate the methods and build a little confidence. We will build in order of complexity for the most part, building our skills as we go. We'll start with the engine base and then move on to the block and crankcase. If you've stuck it out this far and are interested in following along for the ride, please click the like button and subscribe. It drives me a bit crazy that YouTubers are always asking me to like and subscribe, but it is important and appreciated. So thanks in advance. I'm Greg and this is my workshop. Until next time, have a great day.